All you need is five simple ingredients to make this quick and delicious dinner that even the kids will love. Aloha my kako, my name is Rel and welcome to my kitchen where I like to share all my favorite island and Hawaiian style recipes. And today I've partnered with Foodland Hawaii to bring to you Foodland 5. Five ingredient recipes that you can make at home. Let's gather our ingredients. You'll need kaki mochi, flour, pork, panko, and eggs. And today we'll be making kaki mochi crusted pork tonkatsu. Pork tonkatsu is a Japanese dish traditionally made with panko breaded over a pork cutlet and fried. But today we're switching it up and we're gonna use kaki mochi. I'd like to mahalo Foodland Hawaii for sponsoring this video. And first, we'll go ahead and make the breading. We'll take some maikai kaki mochi nori maki original flavor and we'll get that into the food processor. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the cover on and we're just gonna blitz it up. By the way, what do you call this? Growing up, I called it mochi crunch, but I know people also call it kaki mochi or arare. Let me know in the comment box below what team are you? I'm team mochi crunch. So you'll just wanna keep grinding it until you have really fine pieces. If you've got some big pieces in there, kinda of like this, you wanna go a little bit longer. Still got a couple of big pieces, but that's okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the panko. Panko is Japanese breadcrumbs, better than regular breadcrumbs, but if you can't find it, you totally can use the regular ones. These ones you can find in the Asian aisle at most grocery stores. And all you have to do is mix it a couple of times just to get it incorporated. So now that we have the breading made, we'll go ahead and heat up the pan. We'll set it over medium heat and add the cooking oil of your choice. And we'll let that heat up while we go ahead and season the pork. So to the pork, you'll go ahead and add garlic salt and pepper. And then we'll flip it over and add it on the other side as well. Now you can buy these cutlets or you can buy pork chops if you want, bone in, bone out, totally up to you, whatever the store has. It just may change your cooking time a little. The thicker the cuts, the longer it takes. Garlic salt just goes so well on so many things. And that's the seasoning for that. Now for the breading, it's a three step process. So you'll need three separate plates. To plate number one, we'll go ahead and add flour. All purpose flour is fine. This helps to bind everything together. To the next plate, you'll go ahead and add an egg, and then you'll just whisk that up so the egg whites and the yolks is mixed together. And then to the last plate, we'll go ahead and add that kaki mochi mix that we made earlier. Okay, so now let's go ahead and bread it. So we'll take our first piece and it'll go into the flour first. So you'll wanna just lie it in and make sure it covers the entire piece. It'll help the egg stick. Shake off the excess and then into the egg. And I kind of like to just push it down like this so that it gets stuck. The nice thing about this recipe is it only calls for five ingredients. Garlic salt, pepper, doesn't count because you have those at home probably. And then it goes into the kaki mochi mix. And this is what gives it that salty but yummy and umami flavor. And then you'll go ahead and bread it on the other side and then we'll put it into the oil. The oil should be about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I can smell the mochi crunch. It smells so good. Now you could probably fit two in this pan. You don't wanna crowd it too much. And it'll just take a couple of minutes on each side and you got yourself a yummy dinner. As a kid growing up, my dad and I absolutely loved mochi crunch. So much so that some of my friends even would buy it for me for Christmas. And my dad and I, we would easily eat a bag in one sitting. The other way that you can add seasoning to the pork is by adding the garlic salt and pepper into the flour itself. Totally up to you, how do you wanna do it? I do it both ways, but either way works fine. And after a couple of minutes, 
two, three minutes until, and now it depends on the thickness, right? So the thicker it is, the little bit longer it'll take, but it'll be golden brown. And if you could smell this, it smells so good. And that's the perfect color. So we'll go ahead and flip it and you'll just fry it on the other side until golden brown. After you flipped it and it's golden brown on the other side, you can take it out. A meat thermometer would let you know 165 degrees will tell us that it's cooked all the way through. But don't worry, if you don't have one, you totally can just cut it open and make sure it's no longer pink in the middle. I like to go ahead and put it on a paper towel that's set on a plate to catch and absorb the excess oil. And what I like to do to serve it up is put it on a bed of white rice and make it plate lunch style. You can eat it with a scoop of corn or your vegetable of choice. And that's how you make kaki mochi crusted pork tonkatsu using just five ingredients. Enjoy! Thank you for watching my mommy's video.